Welcome to Latin, everybody. Um, I'm going to very quickly explain the summer bridging project that we are setting you, and hopefully it's not going to give you too much to do, uh, but the um, basically the project is designed to maintain the standard of Latin that you have uh, achieved in year 11, just through into year 12. There is a little bit um, extra, which will help you with your literature, but that is totally optional. So just to recap, um, so the um, what will we study at A level? The unseen translation and the prose composition stroke comprehension count as 50% of the total grade and the prose literature and verse literature are the other 50%. The prose composition option it could be done against comprehension, but lots of students tend to choose comprehension. We wouldn't even look at that until year 13, so we don't need to worry about that at all. The prose literature that you will be studying from September is Cicero Pro Cluentio, and I've put the details there for you. If you wanted to have a look in translation, you could go onto the Perseus website. Similarly, the verse literature, the, um, we're doing sections of Catullus. If you want to know any more, do get in touch. I put my details at the end and I can tell you which particular poems you're doing, but they are mainly the love poems to Lesbia that he wrote. And I've also said what you'll be studying for both of those in year 13. So for the prose literature, the Livy is a really good section of Livy. It's all about the um, final king of Rome, Tarquinius Superbus, and the fall of the Roman kings, but told in the Livy way, which is a very sort of mythical look at what was going on at the time. He blames it all on the um, terrible treatment of a woman called Lucretia. And the year 13 verse literature is just the most amazing section from Virgil Aeneid book 12. It's the final section and it will be very, very good uh, and exciting and fun to cover it. I, I think you are very lucky to have these selections this year. Now onto the bridging project. So task one, please don't spend more than two hours of your time over the summer on this. So in the booklet that you will see on the website, there are three vocab sheets and we just would like you to revise the words on those sheets. So from September, we'll have regular vocab tests and, and we'll throw in the bingos as usual. There'll be cahoots and maybe blookets as well, I, I'm learning. So the, the vocab is very much the same as what we do for GCSE and all of the GCSE words will be covered in the A-level words that you do. There isn't a finite number of words, but we do give you a list to steer you in the right direction. Task two is an hour. So there um, are lots of sheets on grammar things in the booklet, but I only want you to concentrate on three pages of these. So nouns on page four, cases on page five, and verbs on page six. Please don't think that you've got to do the rest of it. That is just there to give you an overview and something that you can be filling in as you come across these aspects of grammar in year 12. I've also put a link to the Cambridge Latin course textbook book five. So all the answers will be there for you. And it really isn't as bad or as lengthy as it looks. It's just a, a starter activity for you to get used to thinking about the grammar side and, and nothing should be very new to you that you see there. Task three is an hour in duration. And I've put right at the end on page 23, an unseen translation for you to complete. It's not a test. I look up anything that you need to look up. So look up all the words that you need to, and it's quite a fun story. I've given you three or four links to online dictionaries with a bit of an explanation about each one. And please just look up the words as you need to. But this will be the assessed piece that we'll be collecting in, in our first lesson in September. 
I've put in as an optional bridging task and only if you are able, so your local library may not be open at the moment, but if you can get hold of a copy of Robert Harris's Imperium and also Lustrum, the ISBN details are on the bridging um, sheets that you've got. This is a really good first introduction to Cicero. Um, Cicero is one of your set text authors in September. And you get a lovely way into what life was like. Um, so the good things and the bad things, all the, the sort of dirt that was going on in the Roman late Republic. And you see the, the political shenanigans that were happening. So it's, it's a novel, two novels. Um, and I've also mentioned, if you want some excitement, look at his Pompeii, because it gives a, a theory about how somebody could have survived the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which obviously you have a personal interest in. We asked the I asked the current year 12 Latin class, what did they, what advice could they give to people who were about to start doing Latin? And they came up out with loads of different things that they um, said for you, which they thought would actually help you um, and make you feel a bit better about having chosen Latin. So I, I'm not going to go through and read out all of these things. But they did mention the fact that the main things that they mentioned were the fact that it's a very structured course. So they always know what to expect in a lesson. Nothing is ever a surprise, a bit like GCSE. The smaller classes, because Latin is always a small class, it allows them to feel relaxed and have good discussions and, and feel really supported in the class as well. Um, Lots of you I know have taken some science subjects and, and the comment was, please tell them if they're doing science, Latin is a nice change from science. Um, I don't quite know what she meant there. You'll have to ask her when you see her, but that's what she wanted me to tell you. And here we are some more. Um, I, I just wanted to stress that the, the grammar can seem like such a terrible thing, but one of the students said that even though she felt terrified at the start, the way we've done things, everything has come into focus. And they said the grammar book is our Bible. The, the fact that it's not so different to what you did at GCSE, it's just a development. And, and the fact that, they, that, that, that everybody is there to support everybody else. So whenever somebody gets stuck about something, there is never an issue. People are just really happy to ask and, and we all help everybody through uh, and the students help each other as well. So finally, if you've got any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is here. Um, just to say a little bit about the teachers as well, because we've got a new member of staff starting with us just in a couple of weeks time, Miss Emmanuel. So Miss Emmanuel will be teaching half of the lessons for you and I'll be teaching the other half. So Miss Emmanuel will be doing the prose literature, the Cicero for you. I'll be doing the verse, which is the Catullus. And Miss Emmanuel will be doing prose composition with you to start you off. And I'll be doing wider reading, it's called, which gets um, our grammar and things right up to scratch. And we practice um, a few unseen authors as well. And then we'll move on to comprehension just so that you have a taste by the end of the year. And just to say, we're really looking forward to seeing you. Um, really excited. It will be a lovely group, a lovely class, and hopefully um, see you on the taste today and then in September. Okay, so bye then and good luck.